welcome to Retro Planner Co. I'm Cheryl. It is new release day, and if you've been here for a little bit, you'll know I usually release one functional and one fun sticker set every week. So we're going to just jump right into the first sticker set of the week, which is the functional set, and it is Everyday Curved Text Stickers. Last week, I released a set of neutral everyday icons slash deco stickers, and these um, text stickers pair perfectly with that set, and I'll show you an example of that after the flip through. This set includes 133 um, different text stickers in black and white, so you actually get 266 total stickers, and you'll get the PNG files, GoodNotes sticker books, and Samsung Note sticker books. So let's go ahead and dive right on in. They're all organized alphabetically to help you find them just a little bit better. And they are in a fun curved design. The font that I used for this set is called Golden Hour, in case you are wondering. So I'll just go ahead and scroll through. I'm not gonna read every single one but you'll get a good idea of what is in this set. We have some medical ones, some um, errands type stickers, some cleaning stickers, some weather text, holidays. Um, I just did all the US federal holidays in this set because I do plan on doing a more realistic um, US holiday set, and then I'll have a different version of the text stickers in that set. So we have some work-related, meal planning, favorite memory, some self-care and fun activities, just regular daily things that you might encounter, like going to bed, waking up, things that you might want to track. So you'll notice we have like tea time and plant care, pet care. We have an important release day, so if you want to log Retro Planner Co. releases, they are usually on Fridays. So as I said, 133 different text stickers. Here's all the white versions of the text. And then I did a quick daily page using these stickers combined with some of my other stickers. For this set, I used the Cozy Autumn Deco stickers. I used the neutral icons or neutral deco stickers that I came out with last week. And I also used Essential Widgets Volume 2 to put this spread together. Um, these are from different text sets. I have a weekly, um, couple weekly font sets or text sticker sets, and then a couple monthly text sticker sets. So these are all just a combination of that. But these arched right here are all from today's release. So I hope that just gives you an idea of some ways that you can use this set. The next set is what I am beyond excited about. It is a, another scene creator set, which have been wildly popular in the shop. You guys have loved playing around with them so much. This is a little different though, a um, little bit different spin on the scene creators. Woodland Animals Stickers. So this set is an animal, as you can guess, an animal scene creator. I have both autumn woodland and a green forest type woodland, so you can use them any time of the year. I really enjoyed making this set. I had to do a bunch of research to find out just exactly which animals actually go in the woodland. And I learned that woodlands are in fact different from forests. So there's your fun fact of the day. But this set is just so fun to play around with. You can use, make as an elaborate scene as you want, or just simple for deco on your daily and weekly and monthly pages. Um, it includes 116 different stickers. Some of them are backgrounds. All of them come with semi-transparent versions as well. And of course it includes PNG files, GoodNote sticker book, and Samsung Note sticker book. So here we go into this wonderful set. This is probably my favorite. My son actually giggled. My teenage son giggled when he saw this one. Little hedgehog. So we have a bunch of different animals and then I also have just some of the different elements for the 
woodland in case you don't want to use like the whole background. We have some of the food for the animals. I mean, you can just go crazy with this set. Some of the animals are uh, sitting facing forward and facing away and laying down. I have a few different variations depending on how you want to use them. We have a raccoon and a fox and lots of mushrooms and acorns and pine cones, a beautiful moth. Here's one of the cutout scenes and it includes a more of an autumn version. We have a male deer, a woodpecker, pile of leaves, and this bear, oh, chipmunk, um, a fallen log, a bear laying down. We have a couple different squirrels. This one is so adorable. A uh, toad, a bear facing forward, a rabbit, another raccoon. This one's a little bit more scraggly. It's been through some stuff, I think. The other one's a little more fuzzy. <laughs> A fox, an elk, a fox facing away, which this, oh, I love this one, just love it. Another squirrel, a wolf, a porcupine, a couple different skunks, which when they're, you know, when they're this way, they're fine. And these are the non-smelly variety of skunks. <laughs> we have a female deer and a little field mouse. And then a few different, a uh, few more varieties of birds I don't remember what this one's called, but trust me, it's a woodland forest bird. Hawk, owl, cardinal, a few different nuts in case you want to feed your animals. <laughs> we have some golden ferns, some blowing leaves, a few different types of trees. So we have some maple in the fall, some berries, uh, toadstools, and then a branch, a pine branch, and a couple different varieties of pine trees. So we have a, just a single one, a group of trees, pile of rocks, some grass, another type of pine tree, tree trunk, some moss, and then another cluster of berries with a more autumn vibe. And here's all the semi-transparent versions in case you just want a little bit of a subtle um, deco for your planner. And then we have the backgrounds. Here are some of the vertical backgrounds with the semi-transparent, which I'll show you those full versions are right here so there's an autumn woodland path a not autumn woodland path so you can use this any time of year and then a beautiful little creek running through the forest i just the colors though in case you haven't realized i do love fall and then here are the landscape versions of the backgrounds as well with their semi-transparent And those are the Woodland Animals Scene Creator stickers. I did, of course, make a lovely little spread, a couple different spreads, just showing you some little creative ways to use them. So in this one, I just used the background, the landscape background, and then just added in some of the animals. And there's still lots of room for planning. You can put back widget backgrounds and widgets over top, um, or you could just kind of cut this in half and use a full page deco on one side and then you're planning on the other. Or if you just want to relax, you can just make a scene. I like to do that sometimes. It's a lot of fun. So here's a more functional weekly layout. I used an, one of the overlays from, I believe it's a weekly collection, one of the background, the semi-transparent backgrounds from this set. And then I just made a little simple scene over on this side. I cropped the trees a bit and just added just a little pop of color, a little pop of autumn on the page, leaving lots of room for planning. So those are just a couple ideas of how to use this set. Pretty simple sets this week. I was only going to release one set, but I'm like, no, I can't just do a fun set. I have to do a functional set as well. So I got those both done. Still working on those 2025 planners. I'm hoping to be able to release the Ultimate Life Planner next week is my goal, barring any unforeseen <laughs> glitches or interferences. I am just about there. Before I forget, I do want to mention that these, both of these sticker sets are in fact included in the Whole Shop bundle. So if you haven't checked that out and snagged it already, I will link to it in the description below. The Whole Shop bundle includes everything currently in the shop as well as all future new releases for less than most planner shops charge for one digital planner. So be sure to check that out if you're interested. So I do appreciate you supporting my small shop and thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time.